you grew up in Hawaii yeah. um, with military parents. Tell us what that was like. Oh, well, my parents, um, they were very active in the military, so they were rarely home. And being in Hawaii, it's easy to just skip school and go to the beach. Mm. <laughs> so I grew up just on the beach like every day and surfing and yeah, it was fun. It, I was very spoiled. Like the beaches in California don't compare. <laughs> yeah, no, they really don't. So yeah, I haven't surfed here yet. Um, I'm just not ready to wear a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> but Hawaii was amazing. I was definitely spoiled. But at the time, you're very like, you don't appreciate it, I feel like, because you just feel stuck on an island. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm gone, I would love to just go back and retire there. Yeah. yeah. When did you leave Hawaii? Um, So I joined the military. When did I, when did I leave? It feels like this last few years in the industry has just like been my entire life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I joined the military. Okay, my parents got divorced, so I left. I graduated high school early, um, joined the military out of Florida, and I got stationed back in Hawaii right away. So I ended up was that leaving. just a coincidence, or did you kind of like request that? No, or? I was supposed to go to Korea. Um, okay. My dad, he was highly ranked, so he kind of finessed right me gotcha. he knew the general and he got me to come back to Hawaii to him okay <laughs> kind of was mad at him for that but it was a great duty station so yeah I did four years there and then I ended up stationed in Monterey my last year okay but yeah I was in Hawaii for like a big chunk of my life okay yeah so tell us what being in the military is like oh my gosh like what did you do specifically it's so crazy because it really depends what your job is and what unit you're with. Like mm -hmm. I was with the combat unit, so I was training every day in the rain. Um, my main job was human resources. So I thought it's gonna be easy. I'll just be in an office. I can go to college part time. That's, that was my big goal. Like I skipped school so much, I had to go join the military to go to college. Mm. And my parents both did it. So I thought, you know, if they could do it, I could do it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it turns out when you go to a combat unit, you're actually in the field all the time, no matter what your job is. So they handed me a machine gun <laughs> and I had, yeah, I was in the field in the rain for like four years. <laughs> oh my God. It was a lot. It was a lot on my body. Um, but it's crazy. Like the military is more mentally challenging than it is physically. I think like if you can control your mindset, like you can exceed the standards. So, so how do you mean? Like as far as the physical fitness tests, um, I would just push myself. I wasn't as fit as everyone else, but mentally I would just push myself and I exceeded the physical training standards. I was like out pushing the guys, but that's probably why they gave me the machine gun because I could lift heavy things. <laughs> so I kind of screwed myself. I was stuck carrying the big gun everywhere. <laughs> Is that why yeah. your last name's Gunner? Yeah. Okay. Because I was a machine gunner. <laughs> that makes sense. That totally makes sense. Yeah. So, so when you say like mentally challenging, you mean kind of you like mind People, over body. Yeah. And especially with, with drill sergeants, like mm -hmm. they, they want to press your buttons to see how you react under pressure. Mm -hmm. Like that's a huge thing in the military. So yeah, just like learning it's a game and you have to play the game. It's kind of like the adult industry. Mm. <laughs> it's all a game and you just have to, you know, yeah. be professional and do your job and be nice to people and you'll be okay. Do you feel like that really set you up for your work in adult now? Oh, for sure. Especially just the discipline that I learned in the military because mm -hmm. going from the girl who would skip school every day to exceeding standards and just mm -hmm. being on time and I had soldiers I was responsible for it made me more aware of people and how to treat other people I don't know yeah it's like it's hard to explain if you go through it I feel like you understand yeah and it's hard to explain to people who weren't in the military right but yeah <laughs> <laughs> was it hard being a woman in the military Oh, yes, it was. That's I was the only female in my barracks. So it was all men. How many people are in your barracks? Oh, my gosh. It was probably like 300 people. What? Or more. You were one woman out of 300 guys? Yeah, yeah. And um, I was living in, it's like dormitories, basically, right? So, like, people were stealing my panties out of the laundry. Like, I was getting harassed a lot. Not physically, but just, like, right. verbally and yeah <laughs> it was rough I mean because you're but I'm hot pretty like too, I'm pretty so it's not like, naive I'm pretty strong yeah. minded so I don't take shit from people but um after a year of that I was like I have to get married I have to get out of these barracks and get off post because if you get married um the military covers you housing for somewhere away from the post 
So, yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting. I don't know anything about the military. Yeah. Okay. So you were being like sexually harassed by all of these men. For sure. <laughs> and you decided to get married to get out of that. Exactly. So tell me about like, who did you marry? Um, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay. So I was dating someone and they weren't really like wanted, they didn't really want to date me back. So I married his best friend. <laughs> so I was friends with his best friend and I was like, well, this guy is not going to work. Yeah. So I need to move on to the next. And me and his best friend got along really well. We dated for a week. It went well. And I said, you know what? Instead of boyfriend and girlfriend, we should just be husband and wife. It's like the same thing. So <laughs> oh, yeah. It's exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. So we went to a Starbucks and met a guy there to marry us. And you that got was married it. in a Starbucks? Yeah. In oh like my God. five minutes. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. So that marriage didn't work out, but I mean, really? it was really set, not That's set up. That's so strange. <laughs> it was not set up for success, but I'm glad I did it. I ended up like moving off post. I had dogs. Like mm -hmm. I was having such a good life, like away from all the mm -hmm. craziness. So, yeah. Yeah. How I, long were you married for? Um, Like two years. Okay. Yeah. And then I uh, got divorced, went our separate ways very peacefully, and mm -hmm. I was stationed in Monterey for my last year. And things Single. were better there? Oh, yeah. It's okay. a, um, a language institute, so it wasn't more like combat guys. Like right, right. <laughs> horny guys all the time. It was more of like a school. Okay. Yeah, so I was cadre. I was like, um, I worked at the school. Right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. Yeah. My God. How old were you when all this went down? Um, I got married at 19 and then, yeah, I got out of the army like three years ago, two or three years ago, I think. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 